I think this off season for me was just you know picking all the great players' minds. You know, I got a chance to work with Russ, Steve Nash, and you know, you know, just just maintaining you know what I do best and just remain solid. Where all did you go to do this work? Where were you? I was all in LA. Yeah, all in yeah, LA. Yeah, that's where everybody lives okay. apparently. So, so what what were you focused on when you're with Westbrook and that, you know Steve Nash and guys um, like that? Well, Russ. I mean, it was just. You know, competing against him. You know, we all know what he can do on the court. You know, he's a he's a great guard. Um, you know, so it's just about going out there and competing against him. And then, you know, with Steve, was similar to like last summer. Like I think he just kind of worked with me on the court. Last year he was talking to me over the phone. This year he was working with me on the court, and mainly just about pick and roll reads and you know leadership qualities and you know what to look for. You know, for my teammates and stuff. So it was real nice, man. He's he's a real humble. You know person i mean and this is like a day after his hall of fame ceremony so for him to take the time out and to do that that was real special what was the week in miami like what did you guys get out of I, I think the week was very very successful for us you know usually when you have something like that you're not sure how many people are going to show up but i mean we had the whole team there okay. yeah the whole team was there everybody was invested committed i mean we, we just didn't do stuff on the court we did stuff off the court so the bonding experience was really good for us and I think that's going to carry over into the season. Did anybody's play down there jump out of you? Is that one of the young guys maybe who you uh, thought showed improvement or is better than you thought he was, that kind of thing? Did anybody stand out among that environment? Yes. Um, you know, I, I didn't think Victor could get any better. He, he looked extremely good. Um, Miles' jump shot, you know, he, he always had a jump shot, but it just looks more fluent. Um, he, he looks like he wants to play a little more aggressive too, as well. Um, I think the the player, the two players that I'm most excited about is uh, is Domas and and um, Doug. You know, I think Doug is a guy that can help us shoot the ball. You know, when we need some more shooting. Um, and then Domas, I mean, he he I, to me, I think by far he probably had the best off season in terms of just body on the court, everything. He just had the total package and. He looks really good. In what ways is Victor better? You mentioned him. Man, he's just, I think last year he wasn't sure, you know, he, he had the attitude, he wasn't sure that he can be the guy of a franchise. So it's kind of like, you know, let's see what happens this year. Mm -hmm. Now I think after having that year under his belt, he's like, I am the guy, you know what I mean? And I'm going to lead this team any way possible. And you can you kind of see it in his swagger. And, and that's going to be good for us going down the road. Mm -hmm.